What do you guys do for New Year's Eve? My friends and I agreed that it might actually be the worst holiday. It's even worse if you're single because when the countdown does happen, all the couples kiss. And then you have to stand there, alone. A lonely doofus. How do you do New Year's Eve and insights for the singles? That's from Ed in San Francisco. If you can't get a smooch at midnight on New Year's Eve, you are unsmoochable. <sighs> That's an excuse when that clock turns over and the promise of a new year fills us with a sort of drunken hope. And you get to necking. Neck with literally anybody you see, and they'll be like, yup, 2012! Yeah, you gotta get your sexy right. And go to a party where there's a lot of people. And then just pair off. Get there and be like, ladies! You don't even have to pair off, just make sure you're standing near a group of other single people because you're not thinking about it. Coupled people. Only be able to kiss one person. Yeah, yeah. You can you can bounce between people like pinball, pinball. Yeah. As soon as the the balls drop, you just the ball drops. You just look at the person next to you who's also seeing them and give them that nod. Like, hey, yeah, we, is it us? What do you think? Mm-hmm. What's going down? And I think that, man, if if you think New Year's is a boring holiday, I'm sorry, but you're doing it wrong. Yeah, like, it's the best holiday. It is the time to be like, hey, remember all that stuff that we've had to deal with all year? That's dead now. This yeah. year is dead. The next year is a bright, shining, clean slate. Until mm-hmm. December 20th. Until December 20th, when we all die. Then the whole universe is a clean slate. Then mm-hmm. everything is a clean slate, and God shakes the actor sketch, and we start over. Right. The, the, and Dana Carvey forgets what happened the day before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm not crazy about uh, New Year's. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I've never enjoyed it. I don't know why that is. I think it's because um, it's so far from Christmas. Yeah, I guess. I, I like Christmas a lot because of all the gifts and stuff. Mm-hmm. New Year's Eve gifts. Mm. Well, I think when it comes to New Year's, I think you have two options as far as the parties go. And you have the quiet reflection with a small group of friends where you all sit around like drinking wine and beer and champagne and talking about what's happened over the last year and things you look forward to in the next year. Which, which can be nice. Yeah. And then you just have the wild, crazy party yeah. till two. Like, I think the problem comes from when you kind of end up at a party that's in the middle of those. Where it's like a bunch of people sitting around talking about how crappy the year was before. You really gotta make sure that you go to like a Skrillex concert. And yeah. like at midnight, pop some X, listen to him chop and screw all lang sign and like just go for it. Yeah. I've never lived in like a, a bigger city. Like Cincinnati is the biggest city I've ever lived in. But mm-hmm. like the idea of going to a bar or club as like my final destination New Year's party i don't know that seems like you're setting yourself up to pay a bunch of money for drinks you're never going to really get you know just pleasantly drunk and also you're just surrounded by people that you don't know who are going to be you know that's the biggest problem is the worry of lonely hearts that are going to be bumming you out at a bar there's going to be people who are just desperate for human connection Mm -hmm. you know one time I was working, I had to new, work New Year's Eve. The Blockbuster was open inexplicably until midnight, as it, as it always was <laughs> on the weekends. So I sat and watched the ball drop on a crummy little black and white TV, and there were, I kid you not, two people in there picking out videos. At midnight, New Year's Eve. Well, maybe they wanted to start out their year with a... Uh... With a six days and seven nights, you know. Well, like, here's the twist. What did they end up getting? Did you guess Hush and Nutty Professor Two, The Clumps? Oh, because that is what they. That, that's how they're kicking off. The, that's the first movie they want to watch that year. Those. But don't don't paint this into a bad picture because as soon as that ball dropped midnight, they were magnetically drawn together and just started smooching. You also like The Clumps? <laughs> I love The Clumps. They're married now. Yeah, they're married now, and their last name is The Clumps. <laughs> How did they do it? I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, it's pretty pretty fantastic, though. Do you guys have New Year's plans this year? Uh, I think we'll probably have uh, sort of a dinner party type thing with friends. Mm-hmm. Griffin, what are you doing? Skrillex, Skrillex concert. I'm going to do it in the mail and be really bored. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do a Skrillex dinner with friends. <laughs> New Year. Can we all agree that 2011 was the year of the Skrillex? Mm-hmm. My That's ast- what it says on the Chinese calendar. Skrillex is my astrological sign. Yeah, I was born under the Skrillex. Um, my outlook for next year is... <laughs> That's all it said. Sorry again? <laughs> Onomatopoetically written out. Why don't people do more on a monopoetic dubstep? I don't know. 
Like written word dubstep? <laughs> hey, did you, did you read that new dubstep book? What are you talking about? <laughs> it said wub, 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 drug, drug, drug. <laughs> Slap on the bass now. <laughs> what? As, Get on the bass. Wow. As written by Will I Am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, it, it starts really slow, but once you reach about page 120 and you hit the drop, <laughs> oh yeah. man. It's so heavy. When it says call 911 now, uh -huh. and then it really kicks into high gear. Yeah. I like the part in the third chapter, it really got to me when it said do doodly 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 Mm -hmm. I like that because like it's it kind too. of a high counterpoint to the rub 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 that's also printed on the page over top of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why if the layering is working. I really well liked in the about the author section when it was like. Bow, 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 bow. I found the flashback chapter really confusing. Yeah, because <laughs> it's reggae. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Paul Skrillex lives in New England with his cat <laughs> <laughs> and his wife Dorothy. They have two kids, <laughs> rah, 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 and <laughs> <laughs> who go to school in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, Skrillex, he wrote the book on dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> Most important things to him is his family and his walk with Christ. 